Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's doing well and your your week is sliding by. Uh, probably a short week for many of my viewers given that tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the US. So we'll be talking more about that. Um, I've been on vacation but unfortunately I got uh, called into a project that requires me to pretty much work every day this week. Uh, not tomorrow but otherwise and probably a bit over the weekend. So. Life is very difficult sometimes, but they pay me, and I'm, I'm thankful that I have the job, and I, I enjoy doing it. Some 8 o'clock coffee. It's later than I usually make these videos, but I had to, I, I'm going to explain. I had some stuff to do this morning. Oh, and Haunted Bookshop in Rick Black Morta. So let's start off with the um, the giveaway. So I'm I'm running a giveaway right now. Uh, in case you missed it, it was announced on Sunday. Uh, I'll put a link to the video below. And if you decide you'd like to make a video response to be entered into the giveaway, please post a link to that video response in the in the comments to the video that I'm linking to. So the original Sunday video. Um, if you post them in this one, I'll figure it out, but I'd rather you post it in the in the Sunday one. The contest is quite simple. All you have to do is talk about a time when a friend was important to you, uh, a time when a friend had some impact on your life. Or, you know, I'm being very open-ended about this. Just talk about the impact of friends in general, the importance of friends, so on. Friend is the theme. And I'm going to, I'm not going to, you know, if somebody makes a VR and they talk about something slightly off of what I was thinking of, it doesn't matter. You're going to get entered, of course. The rules, uh, got to be smoking age in your area. I originally said no international contestants, although in thinking about it, I will accept international entries as long as you, the international fellow, uh, are willing to first off pay the postage and secondly, take responsibility for the loss of the tobacco in the mail because uh, that does happen and I am going to have to declare it as tobacco so you know it may or may not get through to you so that's it it's that simple make a video it can be a minute long it can be 20 minutes it doesn't matter don't make them 20 minutes long post it post a link to that video in the comments section of my last Sunday video and you will be entered into the drawing. So what are you going to get? Well, first off, the thing that started it all off is this beautiful Larry Black Tamper. This is a, he calls this one Father Christmas. You can see it's Santa with uh, a sack on his back and he's carrying a little Christmas tree. Really beautifully done. Look at the detail on the, the tamper part. And this is, a, this is a nice hefty tamper. It's one of these ones where it'll just tamp. You just have to loosen your grip on it and let it fall into the tobacco chamber. So very nice tamper. Um, that's one of the items that you'll be receiving if you win. There's a total of four items here. And let me just go through those. And I don't have all of them here. So I'm going to have to give you some of this as uh, pictures. So first off, my friend, uh, Jack, Jack Kurtz, was nice enough to give me a big sack of tobacco. <laughs> and one of the items in that sack was Northwoods. Uh, Jack said, you know, if I want the tobacco, fine. If I don't, please feel free to share it. Well, Northwoods, as you know, is an English crossover blend. It's, it's good. I've had it in the past, but it's not my kind of blend. And I know it's popular, so I figured, what the heck, I'll, I'll put uh, this into the into the giveaway. It's about two pounds of... Uh, ah, that's not true. <laughs> it's about two ounces of Northwoods that you will be getting if you're the winner. Uh, next item up is a tin of Cornell and Deal We Three Kings. As you know, Cornell and Deal puts out a Christmas blend each year. And uh, this year is no exception with We Three Kings. Uh, this is one that I believe they put out years ago. And now it's back. And uh, I, I know I had it. It's an aromatic. Again, not my style, but I thought, you know, keeping with the 
season, it would be nice to have uh, a Christmas blend. And I chose the Cornell and Deal We Three Kings. And that's on its way to me. And finally, the winner will receive uh, a pipe. Not, not this pipe. This is a picture of the type of pipe. But it is a Rossi 8. 83311. I believe that's the right number. It is the same as the 7LE311, which is that little uh, poker that I have that I, I really like. So I thought this would be uh, a nice thing to add into the giveaway, and that is in the mail on its way to me. So by the time we do the giveaway, I will have all these things in hand, but right now uh, I just have the pictures of those last three, and I've got Larry's tamper. So for goodness sakes, it's an easy. Uh, giveaway just make a quick video on uh, a time when a friend was important in your life and we will uh, will enter you in the draw drawing the drawing will be held uh, not this Sunday but the following Sunday uh, all entries have to be in by midnight on Saturday or Sunday morning however that works uh, and then I'll do the drawing on Sunday morning during my normal Sunday video so looking forward to that I hope you're looking for it forward to it as well uh, so I had a little bit of an adventure this morning and there are there are viewers that may not know this part of my past so forgive me guys if you've heard me say this six times already but I, I try to do it once a year so I'll tell the story um, I am a cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, which men do get. I'm living proof of that. Uh, that happened at the very beginning of 2016. And the way I found it was completely random. I pulled a muscle, and I know that I pulled a muscle in my chest. And I was sitting one night, and it was early January, just after New Year. Uh, I, I think I was still on vacation even. And I was just kind of rubbing to try to get that pain out. And as I did that, I felt something that shouldn't be there. Uh, you know, felt like a little marble or something under my skin. So I said, well, I better get that looked at. And I went to the doctor. And my doctor, he, he has since retired. But he was a wonderful doctor. And in my opinion, he saved my life. He checked me out and everything. He sat me down. He said, look, um, I've been doing this for 40 years and I've seen exactly one person, one man have breast cancer. You don't have breast cancer. I'm certain of it, but we want to make sure. So let's get a, let's get an ultrasound done and, and have you look at it, have it looked at closer. And I said, okay, fine. Now that's important because a lot of doctors, a lot of doctors would have just said, it's, uh, it's so unlikely. Just go home. He didn't. He sent me for the ultrasound. I got the ultrasound, and then they uh, make you sit in the room and wait, and then the ultrasound guy comes in and says, we're, we're going to have the doctor talk to you. And then a doctor comes in, and he says, well, you have a suspicious mass. It's almost certainly cancer, and we want you to talk to a surgeon and have it removed immediately. What I didn't know at the time, because I didn't know anything about male breast cancer, is that it is very, very deadly. Um, men have a much lower survival rate from breast cancer than women do. The reason is that we don't check. You know, women have this the screening mammograms, they you know to feel for, for lumps and all that. Men don't do that. So by the time a man finds it, it's usually too late. I got really lucky because that pain wasn't coming from the tumor. I've had three different doctors tell me that there's no way the tumor could create pain. It was coming from pulled muscle, but I just happened to find the tumor because of that. Surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, that was all, I'm, I'm in my sixth year now, uh, post, post chemo. And uh, boy, it was a rough road, but I'm very, very grateful that uh, yeah, I got great care from all my doctors and, and I'm alive. And the reason I'm telling this story is it certainly is something I'm thankful for. I had to go this morning for my annual screen where they uh, they check, and uh, I'm clean. I'm I'm completely clean. No no worries. And they said uh, it's up to you and your doctor. You need to talk about it, but you may not need to do this again. So that's fantastic news. But guys, I want to caution you about this, and I want to sincerely say this to you. 
if you don't know how to check yourself for breast cancer and testicular cancer, these are two things that kill men that don't have to. Go and find out how to do it, and for God's sake, do it. It doesn't take long. It feels weird. But believe me, it will save your life if, if you're unlucky enough to actually have something that you find. Plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that. Um, you know, plenty of articles on the web. Just, just look it up and do it. You'll, uh, you'll be safer if you do. And I want you all to be along for a very long time with me. And I hope to be around for a very long time as well. So that's how I spent my morning going to the, uh, to the hospital. Getting my screen done. Everybody's always super nice there. I, I really like the, the hospital that we go to and, and the associated doctors. They seem to have a very good ethos about how they care for patients. And it's, uh, it's very different from the, I, I drive an hour to get to the hospital because there's an hour, there's a hospital 15 minutes from me, but they treat you like garbage. So I just, I won't go there. All right. So we talked about that. We oh, so this brings me into uh, Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. So first off, American Thanksgiving, United States Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Uh, I want to wish everybody that's celebrating Thanksgiving a very happy Thanksgiving. And if you're not, I hope you have a great Thursday, you know. Uh, it's traditional to think through things that you're thankful for and, and all that. And I'm not going to do that. You know, I don't like lists and all that. But, you know, certainly if I had a list in, in, the, in the top five would be the health that I have today, which, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful that I was able to discover that so early and recover from it. Now, the treatments beat me up, but I'm still fighting my way back to where I was before that happened, but I'm getting there. And, and the end is in sight. Well, not the end. <laughs> the, you know, I'm, I'm climbing the hill and the top of the hill is in sight. That, that's better than the end. So I'm certainly thankful for that. I'm thankful for family and all that kind of stuff. But as I, as I count my blessings, I, I guarantee you that part of it is going to involve the YouTube pipe community. Uh, the things I've learned, the people I've met, the people that take the time to watch me talk about these things, the people that are going to show up for the uh, drawing when I do the live drawing, the people that donated to Justin Aldridge's auction, uh, which, by the way, I sent the money to his wife, and she's very, very grateful, and she thanks everyone. Uh, the people that are going to uh, check in at, at uh, Jason Mouton's auction, which is coming up uh, December 10th, I believe. It's a Friday. Friday night, my time slot, Jason's channel. The, the people that send other people tobacco and pipes and share so freely of what they have. I get every time I turn on YouTube these days, and I don't get a lot of time to watch the, 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 the YouTube, but when I do and I watch pipe videos, they're always uplifting. You know, that hasn't always been the case, but these days they really are. You know, they're, they're folks just sharing things, sharing their knowledge. Uh, you know, being a little silly at times, being a little serious at times, but it, it always gives me a warm feeling to, to watch you folks, and I hope I can give you a little bit of that in return. But I wanted to let you know, and I'm talking to you, the individual watching this right now, that you, whether you make videos, whether you post comments, whether you're just a guy that watches that I, I don't even know exists, you are one of the things that I will be counting among my blessings because I'm very, very grateful for you guys. So with that, I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourself. Don't eat too much. If you do eat too much, eat good stuff. And I'll see you on Sunday morning uh, with, a, with a new video. I look forward to your entries in the giveaway. So until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.